everyone and welcome to my postpartum recovery series. If you've already watched this intro and you know how to go through this, just skip ahead to the exercise part and get started with those. Otherwise, stick around because I have some important information to share so you can get the most out of these videos and out of these exercises. So let me explain to you what you'll get by going through this series. The goal is to help you regain awareness, functionality, and strength in your pelvic floor and your deep core muscles. And we do that by working progressively. So there are seven parts in this series and you really want to be uh, mastering the exercises in part one, making sure you feel confident with them, making sure you have noticed some progress in your body before moving on to part two and working like this all the way through part seven. So it's really important to take your time while you go through this series. If you ever notice some bulging or coning, it means you have gone too far. And really, it doesn't matter if it takes you a little bit longer, just make sure you have mastered those exercises and really feel good about them before taking the next step. And another very important point that I need to make is that the foundation of postpartum recovery is breath work. So we are gonna work with our breath all the way throughout the series, as the exercises get more challenging, the breath work stays. And yes, it can get boring, but it is essential. So if you don't know how to properly perform a core breath, make sure to check out the step-by-step -step guide that I've made. I'll link it down below. Uh, but just as a quick recap, really inhale 360 degrees around your core, into your ribs, into your back, into your pelvic floor. And then on the exhale, we want to gently lift the pelvic floor, zip our core up, the navel comes up slightly, and we bring our ribs down and in. And again, we don't want to be holding tension and we don't want to be gripping down. Um, so also make sure that you continue to have a nice posture, shoulders are open, chest is open, and our spine is in a neutral position. And the third point I want to make is to just take your time. There is no timeline to follow. Everybody moves at different speed. It's all gonna depend on how you were before you got pregnant, how much you did, uh, how much you exercised throughout the pregnancy, how your pregnancy developed, how uh, your birth was. So really forget about the timeline. It could take you four months, it could take you six months, it could take you a year. It really doesn't matter. Another thing to note is that if you're breastfeeding, it can take your body a little bit longer to recover as the prolactin level are, levels are quite high in the body and hormonally we just don't go back to our pre-pregnancy state uh, until we stop breastfeeding. So to summarize, make sure you're working progressively through the series, don't skip any steps, take your time, make sure you're mastering the breath work. Um, we are really working from the inside out, we're starting with that inner core, that pelvic floor, the diaphragm, the transverse abdomen, and then working our way out, and by the end of it, you'll be able to perform any type of core exercise that you wish. And again, just take your time. And another quick side note, if you've had a C-section, you should do some scar work um, before starting with part one. I will make a video for that as well and link it down below. So maybe it will take you a little bit longer before you can start with part one. And again, it doesn't matter. We're gonna forget about any timeline. But yeah, so just make sure you are mobilizing the scar and desensitizing it before we go and start activating all those muscles around the incision. And that's it. I hope it all makes sense. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. And let's get started with part one. Hey everyone, this is part two of our postpartum recovery series. Today we're going to build on what we did in part one. We're going to add a little bit of movement. Still working a lot on our breath. So come join me on the mat and let's get started. Okay, for our first exercise we're going to be laying on our back. And from here, we're again, the main focus is on the breath. So big inhale, 360, uh, 360 degrees out the core, and on the exhale, gently activate the pelvic floor. We're zipping the core up, navel comes up and in, and we are gently hugging the ribs in and down. And at the same time, we said we're gonna add a little movement. We're going to tilt the pelvis and gently lift it off the mat. So we are not pushing up into a bridge. Our glutes should still be relaxed. We are just gently lifting the slightly off the mat. So let's do five of these. Big inhale and on the exhale. 
make first your lips on your exhale is lift the pelvic floor zip the core up and let's lift the pelvis too and release big inhale And let's do two more. And one more. Okay, let's take a little break. Okay, so I was a little bit rushed for those, but really just focus on inhaling deep and winding into the core and then on as we exhale. Lift your pelvic floor, zip the core up, and then perform that pelvic tilt. For our second exercise, we're still going to be on the back. And I'm going to hold my feet just off the mat so that I can slide better. We are going to start with one leg extended. And here, nice and neutral spine. I'm relaxed. Big inhale. And on the exhale, we are... Same, still, same thing. Lifting the pelvic floor, sitting the core, and at the same time, bringing this leg in, sliding it on the floor. So we give you the body mind, so slide that leg in. And again. Begin up. Keeping that core up. Okay, try to take your time. Let's switch sides. Adding a little pressure on that heel as you slide in is going to help you engage the transversal abdomen and those deep core muscles even a little bit more. So two more. Very good. For the next one, we're going to move on to our side. And again, I'm only doing four to five repetitions. You can obviously do more or just do more rounds. You're going to be in this position, neutral spine, elbow under the shoulder, and on the inhale, we're going to step in this position. So one leg up, big inhale, and on the exhale, lift the core up, bring the leg down. Okay, exhale fully, and here we go again. Big inhale. High exhale, starting from the pelvic floor. Zip up, bring the rib cage in. And let's do one more on this side. Switching on to the other side. So again, on the inhale, bring the leg up. Nice and deep and exhale. Lift the pelvic floor, sit the core up. Hold your core and bring the leg down. Nice, on white exhale. And one more. Great, so that was our third exercise. Now we're gonna move on to all fours. 
So you can grab a pillow for your knees if you need it. And here, again, we're adding a little bit of movement, nice and neutral spine to start. On the inhale, nice and deep. We're gonna bring one arm up and exhale. Big thing in the bottom. Bring the arm back down. And we're switching sides. Inhale. Exhale all the way out. One more inside. Very good. Now for the last exercise in part two, we're gonna go back into that um, pelvis elevated position on the wall. So feet up on the wall. And knees at 90 degrees. So we're gonna get into position. And this time you can also have a ball or a pillow in between your knees. And we're gonna go back to what we did with the, with the first exercise with the gentle pelvic tilt. So big inhale. And on the exhale, zip it up and Tilt the pelvis, lifting your bottom off the pillow. <laughs> and then come back. Someone's digesting. Rotate the pelvis, tuck the rib cage under, and relax. Now, if you feel like you're able to control the exhale very well, you can also add a gentle squeeze of the ball or the pillow in between your knees. So inhale, zip up, lift gently, rotate the pelvis and squeeze. Let's do a few more. exercises for part two. Make sure you do multiple rounds or you then ramp up with the repetitions up to 10 or 15 and make sure you feel an improvement in your core before you move on to part three.